the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another Game of Thrones Season 8 video. As you can see by the title of the video, today I will be talking about the official photos HBO released a little bit ago. Unfortunately, we did not get the Season 8 trailer during the Super Bowl like I know we had all hoped, but for now, I guess we will just have to settle with the 14 new photos. Before we get started, I do want to remind everyone about the new giveaway just in case some of you did not see my last video. I am currently giving away the complete A Song of Ice and Fire book collection. As of right now, there are 5 books in the collection, and if you would like to enter for your chance to win, there will be a link down below. Just click on that link and follow those instructions. Good luck everyone, now let's begin. Like I said, HBO did release 14 new photos that were taken during the filming of the final season. Now I will say, these photos do not reveal a whole lot of new information, but let's take a look at them anyway and discuss each one. Let's try to have some fun and do some crazy speculating. In the very first photo, we can see Arya Stark, and it does appear as if she's wearing the same outfit that she had on during Season 7. Now, you would think by this point in the season, it should be very, very cold at Winterfell, not only because winter is here, but also because the Night King is on his way. There should be sub-zero temperatures in the north, but Arya is not wearing any heavy furs in that photo. If you do look behind her, you can't really tell where Arya is in the photo. They could all be wearing northern attire as well, but that doesn't mean they have to be in Winterfell. Or maybe it's just not as cold as we think. And I'm also wondering what Arya is looking at. To me, it does look like she's looking up at something high off of the ground. Maybe she's looking at one of the dragons, or if she is in the south, maybe she's looking up at the Red Keep. As we all know, Jon and Daenerys will be arriving with the dragons in the first episode of the season. But at some point, they will also have to travel back down to King's Landing to face off against Cersei Lannister. So, it's hard to say what Arya is up to in the photo, but the fact that it doesn't look to be very cold in the photo does make me curious about her location. But let's move on to the next photo. In the next photo, we can see Bran Stark sitting in his chair in what appears to be his bedroom. It does look like he's wearing the same heavy fur coat from last season. And I do want to say, it seems like Bran has a very serious look on his face at the moment. I'm guessing that something just happened. Maybe he is left with a tough decision because of something he knows, or something he saw inside of the Weirwood net. Whatever it is, it seems like he is contemplating what he will do next. I'm thinking that this could be right before Bran has to pull Jon to the side to tell him about his parents, or maybe it has something to do with the Night King. It's really hard to say just by looking at his face, but my guess is this is during an interesting scene, which is why HBO decided to release the photo. Regardless of the situation, at least Bran does appear to be cozy by the fire in his home. In the next photo, we can see Brienne of Tarth, and it looks like she is also wearing the same heavy fur from last season as well. If you look closely behind her, you can see that those are the unsullied men standing right behind her. So this has to be taken after Daenerys and her men have arrived in Winterfell with Jon and company. I'm assuming they are inside of the castle at this point, most likely in the main dining hall of Winterfell. They could be holding a meeting inside now that Jon and Daenerys have arrived, or this could be shortly after Jaime Lannister arrives. Brienne does not look exactly pleased in the photo, so I'm guessing it is during a more serious scene. She could be worried about Daenerys being there with the foreign army, or like I said, Jaime could be there, and maybe this is during his questioning about some of his previous crimes. Whatever it is, I would bet that almost everyone is in attendance during the scene, since we can see the Unsullied standing right behind her. Now let's move on to the next photo. Here we can see the lovely Queen Cersei Lannister as she is sitting on the Iron Throne. I would like to guess that this was also taken during a very tense scene. Not only because of the look on Cersei's face, but mainly because of the look in her eyes. We all know that look very well. It also looks like her eyes are a bit glassy, so I'm gonna guess that Cersei just received some bad news. Now what that bad news is can be anyone's guess. She could have learned that Jaime made it to Winterfell. Or maybe Jon and Daenerys are right outside of the city gates with their army. Or maybe something has happened with Euron and or the Golden Company. Whatever it is, Cersei does not look very happy. Now of course I am just taking some wild guesses here because like I said, there isn't really much to go on in the photos. Since most of them are close-ups of individual characters, we really can't see what is happening in the background. 
But as I'm looking at the photo, my initial thought is Cersei does not like whatever she is hearing in that scene, but let me know what you think. The very next photo is also of Cersei Lannister, and in fact, this could have been taken during the same scene. I don't know why, but I just get the sense that Cersei is feeling a bit defeated in those images. Dare I say that these could even be Cersei's final moments in the show. Now I know that is a bold prediction based on absolutely nothing, but if I'm being honest, that is the vibe I'm getting. Now in the next photo, it's a complete opposite of Cersei's reaction. Here we can see Daenerys Targaryen, and she looks very happy. Not just happy, but she also looks as beautiful as ever. It looks like she's wearing a new outfit as well. It does look like the same colors as she wore last year, but this one appears to be slightly different. Now some of you might be asking, why would Daenerys be so happy in that scene? One of her dragons are dead, and the Night King is coming their way as he is riding on that dead dragon. What could she possibly be so happy about? Well, maybe, just maybe, she found out she is pregnant by Jon. Or maybe that was already revealed, and Jon just said that he wants to get married, that way the child isn't born a bastard. Obviously, I have no idea right now, but that would be my guess. The last couple times I saw Daenerys smile like that was when Jon Snow was around, or when she reunited with Jorah Mormont. Since she already reunited with Jorah, I would like to think that smile has something to do with Jon, but let me know what you think. Alright, now in the next photo we can see Sir Davos Seaworth, and once again we can see the Unsullied standing right in the back. My guess is this was taken during the same scene with Brienne of Tarth. They appear to be inside of the castle, most likely in that main dining hall where they hold their meetings. Now I do doubt that that look would have anything to do with Daenerys since Davos has already spent a significant amount of time with Danny, and they did seem to get along just fine. Like I said earlier, this scene could have something to do with Jaime Lannister's arrival, or maybe they are holding a meeting about the upcoming battle against the Night King. They will certainly need to start making their plans of attack very soon. Weapons need to be made, the castle needs to be fitted for offensive and defensive weapons, so I imagine they will need to discuss all these plans. Besides that, I'm not too sure what they could be doing during that meeting. In the next photo, we can see Sir Jamie Lannister, and he does have a smile on his face, but don't let that smile fool you because I have a prediction for this photo as well. Call me crazy, but it almost looks like Jamie is a prisoner in that photo. That was the very first thought that came to my mind when I saw the photo. Even though he does have a smile on his face, the room he is in is very dark, and it makes me wonder if the Starks have locked Jamie up until they can figure out what they're going to do with him. Jamie's appearance has obviously changed a little bit since we last saw him. We know he was traveling by horse, so it probably took him several weeks just to make it to Winterfell. Not only has his facial hair grown out, but he is wearing some armor now as well. And I don't recall him wearing that when he left King's Landing, but I could be wrong. You know what else Jamie could be doing in that very dark room? He could be letting Edmure Tolly out of the cells at the Twins. Now I know that I could be way off on that, but I just get the feeling that Jamie is sitting in some sort of dungeon or cell. If he is in Winterfell in that scene, then I would imagine that this is shortly after they question him about Cersei, and maybe what he had even done to Bran. The smile could be because Tyrion or Brienne are visiting him in that room, but let me know what your initial thoughts were. Next, we can see Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen as they are looking off into the distance at something. They are standing next to a big hill, and it looks like there is some water running along the side of that hill. I don't think they are in Winterfell during that scene, but it does look like they are somewhere in the north. Although, now that winter is here, and it should be snowing everywhere, they could be just about anywhere. It's too hard to say what they are actually looking at, but they don't appear to be scared or worried in that photo. I suppose this could be them arriving at Winterfell, and Daenerys is looking at the castle in the distance for the first time, but I honestly feel like they are somewhere else. That water running alongside the hill does make me curious, but your guess is as good as mine. The next photo shows Jon Snow, and he appears to be standing inside of the courtyard at Winterfell. I would guess that this is shortly after they arrive. We have already seen some teasers of Jon Snow and Daenerys meeting with Sansa, so I would say it was taken during that scene. Alright, now the next photo is interesting to me because I don't think this is in Winterfell either. We can see that Samuel Tarly is standing inside of a castle somewhere, but it doesn't look like the inside of Winterfell to me. I did go back and look at some of the scenes in Winterfell during Season 7, and I did not notice any of those types of torches hanging on the walls. I'm honestly wondering if Sam could have went back to Hornhill during the photo. Maybe this is taken at the very end of the season after all the fighting is done. Samuel Tarly technically would be the Lord of Hornhill now that his father and brother are both dead. 
Now, Sam is still wearing the clothes from the Night's Watch, but I don't think he'll be going back to Castle Black anytime soon. Now that the wall is down and there are no other threats north of the wall, I don't really see a purpose for the Night's Watch, unless the White Walkers would run back to the north again, like they did during the first long night. My guess is Sam is not in Winterfell during that photo. I'm gonna say it's at the end of the season when Sam goes back home with Gilly and Little Sam, but that might not be the correct answer either. Here we can see Sansa Stark, and it appears as if her resting bitch face is back in action. There isn't really much else I can add that I haven't already said because I think it was taken during the same scene I mentioned earlier. We can't see Brienne of Tarth or Davos in the photo with Sansa, but I would bet it's during that same scene. In the next photo, we have Tyrion Lannister, and this one was definitely taken in Winterfell. This was where Sansa and Littlefinger stood last season as they were watching Arya and Brienne practice down below in the yard. It looks like Tyrion is wearing a new outfit in the photo, and he looks pretty damn good if I do say so myself. Now, he doesn't look to be very happy in the photo, and it also looks like he is looking at someone else. Who or what Tyrion is looking at is anyone's guess. I really don't have too many initial thoughts about the photo without talking about some of the spoilers, which I do not want to get into in the video. Let's just go to the next photo. Last, but not least, we have Lord Varys. It looks like he has a new addition to his outfit from Season 7, and it also looks like he is in Winterfell walking around the courtyard. I did not really take away much from that photo either. He's probably looking at someone as well, but your guess is as good as mine. If you're wondering what Varys will be up to next season, then I highly recommend you go and watch my theory video about Varys, because that one I do feel really confident about. I will add that link down below with the giveaway link as well. Anyways, let me know what you thought about all of the new photos. Were you thinking what I was thinking, or did you have some other ideas in mind? These were just my initial thoughts when I first saw the photos, but I'm sure I will come up with some more stuff after I do have some time to process the images. Anyways, I want to thank all of you who stopped by to watch the video, I really appreciate that, and I also want to thank everyone on Patreon for supporting the channel. Have a great day, I'll see you soon. Bye.